There are many objects in geometry and in real life that have symmetry. But how do we define symmetry? Well, an object has symmetry if there exists an isometry, so a reflection, a rotation, maybe even a translation, that maps the figure back onto itself. If that isometry is a reflection, then a figure has reflectional symmetry. So another way of thinking about reflectional symmetry is that half of the figure is a mirror image of the other half. We also describe reflectional symmetry using the term line symmetry. So those two are interchangeable. Let's apply what we know about reflectional symmetry to some specific examples. Here we're being asked to find the lines of reflectional symmetry, which means what line could I draw on this pentagon so that I could fold the pentagon back onto itself and have an identical image? Well, I see that I could draw a line of reflection right there, which would enable me to fold my pentagon over onto itself. I could draw a perpendicular through each one of these vertices, perpendicular to the opposite side, for a total of five lines of reflectional symmetry. If we move on to a square, I see that I could draw in a line of symmetry through the half of these two sides, and I could fold it. I could also draw a horizontal line of symmetry. I could also draw in some diagonal lines of symmetry, and those would enable me to fold the figure back onto itself. So the, this regular pentagon had five. The square has four lines of symmetry. What about an equilateral triangle? Well, an equilateral triangle, similarly, I can draw this line through the vertex, perpendicular to the opposite side, and I could draw in two more. So an equilateral triangle will have three lines of reflectional symmetry. If we look at an isosceles triangle, if I label these two sides as being congruent, there's only one line of symmetry. Because if I drew in another line here, it would not be a mirror image of itself. If we're talking about a scaling triangle, where let's say we gave these side lengths of 2, 5, and 8, there are no lines of symmetry, of reflectional symmetry of the scaling triangle. So to go back over what exactly reflectional symmetry is, is it's a more specific definition of symmetry where you can reflect half of the figure back onto itself. 